Hey guys, uh, so it's been a while since I made a video, but I want to uh, I want to talk about these uh, charge ports that um, that have been popping up on AliExpress and uh, well the other usual sites here. Uh, so this is a replacement charge port for uh, Game Boy Advance SP, um, and I mean it looks pretty good. It certainly fits the uh, fits the charger and everything. Um, but I want to see about getting this installed because the pinout isn't quite the same. If you're not 100%, you know, if you're not familiar with these, um, this is basically set up as a through hole part where you put all the pins through holes and then solder them in that way. Whereas the actual part in this Game Boy is a surface mount part. So I don't know if you're just supposed to like bend these pins and just kind of jiggle them around until they get in the right spot or whatever. Um, but I'm going to be using this Game Boy because I don't actually have one that has a bad charge port that needs replacing. Um, but this is the, whatever, this is the donor I have. Uh, so this charge port does work perfectly fine. If I plug it in, you can see the light comes on. Uh, it doesn't actually charge because there's no battery in it. Um, but this one does work perfectly fine. Um, so let's... While I'm taking this apart, I guess let's talk about a situation where you'd want to replace the charge port. So let's say your Game Boy Advance SP isn't charging, right? Uh, you've already checked the usual suspects, um, the fuses, the battery, the charger itself. Uh, you've narrowed it down to the charge port by plugging in a known working charger, and this one has the light on it, you can tell. You know, you've tested your charger with another SP, that works fine. You plug it in here, you still don't get any light whatsoever, and you know, you're checking with the multimeter with the rear cover off, and you don't see any voltage at the pin. That's when you want to uh, see about replacing the charge port. Whoops, throwing stuff everywhere. Apologies for the background noise, too. It's Finally, summer, and um, you know, I decided I'd rather be comfortable while I'm shooting this video, so I left the AC on. And um, also, recording on a new phone, so hopefully everything is well on that front as well. But uh, if not, I guess I'll find out pretty soon. So be careful when you take this rear cover off that you don't lose this little square nut. Um, not too big of a deal, you can always just drop it back in there, but without it, your battery cover won't stay on. Alright, and three more screws. You want to, oh man, getting stuff everywhere. There we go. Just gonna take a second to put these back where they were. So, I'm going to set the rest of this aside. We don't need it for now. Um, I'm going to pop this back in here. And just throw a cheapo battery in here. So we can see that the SP does charge normally. And it does boot up normally. Just so we have a baseline. Oops, see that's what I was talking about. I'll just set that aside for now. Okay. So here's what I meant. You can see the charge port, the pins are bent and soldered to the surface of the board, whereas this one, they're just 
kind of straight down. So that won't fit as is. We'll have to try and figure something else out. Everything else on it though looks right. So what I was saying earlier, if you have your um, if you have your cable plugged in and you know for a fact that your charge port works, if you have a multimeter set it to voltage, you can see if you probe, you know, just stick something on the ground, this big old orange square over here works great. I'll just try and keep the multimeter in frame too, huh? And then if you charge one, two, the second pin from the right should see five volts on that, or 5.2 volt, or whatever your charger is. Mine's 5.1 volts apparently. But there you go, that's what you should see. If you're not seeing that right at the charger and you're sure your charger is not the problem, then it's definitely the port. If you do see five volts right there, the port is not your problem. Don't waste your time replacing it. However, I suppose if your port is like mine and it's just kind of gross, I mean, I guess there's no real harm in replacing it if you know what you're doing. All right, now as far as removing it goes, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but I think we can manage this. Hot air is probably best, but fuck it, let's see what happens. I'm going to try removing it. Oh man, where's my solder? Oh, there it is. Sorry, I've been moving stuff around and rearranging. Okay. So, iron's nice and hot. That's good. Let's get a solder sucker. And I need to move the camera back a little. going to try and suck the solder with my solder sucker. Now I'm going to try and undo these two two support pins. And I'm not having a good time already. Probably why um, an actual desoldering iron or hot air would be better for this. All right, whatever. Let's try. Let's try some flux and the desoldering braid. Because I am not getting enough of that off. You see, there's still a big glob of solder. Come on, there we go. Right there and right there on this side. Oh man, that made it worse. Let's add more flux. More flux never hurts. Could also be this sucker. Oh, I think I got it that time. So if you want to be able to tell, you know, if you can't, if you can't really tell, uh, one thing you can do is you can give the pin a little wiggle. And if it actually wiggles, which it's not doing, then it's free. But I can't wiggle it at all. I'm just wiggling the whole board. So it might just be enough to touch it with the iron. Try wiggling it. Yeah, see now it's wiggling. Let me put the iron down. I got enough solder out of there. 
So now you can see, if I wiggle the pin, it wiggles a little. That's exactly what we want. Now we need to get that one loose. We're just gonna try the solder braid again. Okay, now that's wiggling too. Excellent. So now we we do not want to do what I'm about to do, but just just to show you this whole port is nice and loose on there. Don't wiggle it because you don't want to lift those traces. But next, the easiest way to get this off by far is going to be to just load up all the pins in the back with a big old glob of solder. And then, should be able to just lift this whole thing off. <laughs> Gotta be careful though, because it's not, not nearly as loose as I'd hoped it would be. There we go. There is definitely a better way to do that. Like I said, hot air. But if you don't got hot air, and I don't have hot air. I used to have a cheapo Harbor Freight heat gun. But that finally let the smoke out. All right. So as it turns out, I did actually lift one of the traces here. Not one of the six pads down here, but this part, the uh, anchor, started coming up a little. But that's that's no big deal. We can we can uh, we can work around that. Okay. going to grab a cotton swab, a little bit of isopropyl alcohol here, clean up this mess, see what I'm working with. Right, so this new port, as we can see, if you try and put that in there, the uh, two anchor pins line up and that's about it. The rest of these pins, looks like four of them line up if we bend them. But the other two are going to have to, uh, have to do something weird. As you can see, the pins on this, oh, maybe you can't see, there we go. Pins here, you can see it comes down, takes a left, and then comes out. And then this one on the inside comes down, takes a right, and then comes out. Oh, 
would be easier to see if I took all that solder off there. Good lord. This is what flux is for. There we go. All right, all right. So there. You can see kind of what this one is doing, how all the pins are bent. I'm thinking we're gonna have to do the exact same thing on this one. Because as is, Pins do not go where they need to go if you were to insert this. If we line that up, we can see one pin goes where it needs to go. I think that's good. Let's see. Nope, that's too far over. The pitch on these things is quite thin. Yeah, I don't like that at all. I tell you, I'm not having a good time. Doesn't help that these inside ones are very really, really loose and wiggle a lot. So 
I'm pretty sure that's shorting. Try it out. All right, so that clipped in. And it looks like all the pins are actually lined up. I fully expected that. I am not surprised in the slightest. I'm definitely a professional. No, I'm kidding. I just play one on TV. All right, I'm gonna trim those all flush. And let's try it again. Nice and shiny at least. Okay. Now even if you got hot air, it's probably best to solder this part by hand. Probably. I'm making a freaking mess of it though. Be absolutely careful you don't get solder all over your CPU either. It's not a death sentence if you do that, unless you try powering it up after you do that. But it is a pain in the ass to clean up. So I just have one massive blob of solder. These pins are so close together. So, and again, I, I got one of these charge ports. This, I actually did not purchase this. This was provided to me by a retro game repair shop. Um, I do not recommend these things. Believe it or not, the uh, USB-C mod I did a while back, that is significantly easier. Okay, let's try one more time. This time we'll try and get only one pin at a time. Okay. I apologize, I just realized due to the framing, you all probably saw none of that. I should have tilted this up while I was soldering. Um, but basically, and this isn't the iron I was using, but I don't want to mess up my work here because it wasn't easy. I just took the iron at the very edge of the pad, just like that, and then ran a little bit of solder. In fact, with all the flux I had on there, solder just flowed from the iron onto the joint and then stayed there. And then I moved on to the next one, and then to the third one, four, five, and six. 
All right, so very important. Next step, before we try plugging this thing in, we're going to make sure there are no shorts. Now, my meter doesn't beep because it's a cheap freebie from, <laughs> cheap freebie, because it was a freebie from Harbor Freight. But if I hold my leads together, you can see it reads three ohms, maybe less, regardless. So I'm going to put this on ground, check the ground lead. Uh-oh. Oh, the ground lead is, which one is it? Is it six or five? Okay, well, I'm already not having a good time. But it doesn't look like any of these are shorted together. Okay, that's good. So which one is the ground then? I thought that one was the ground. Maybe I'm going nuts. Let me go ahead and solder the uh, anchors now. I want to do this last, just in case I need to remove the port, because undoing this is the hard part. What the fuck? My two irons are tangled now, sorry. Hang on, bear with me. Okay, there we go. At least soldering this is easy. I'm going to apply pressure and try that again. I want to make sure the port is nice and flush. All right. Oh, now I think it's crooked. Oops. There we go. All right. Let's see if I killed this Game Boy, yeah? I'm gonna pop it in here. It still fits, that's a good sign. Oh my god, did I just do what I think I did? Okay. No. It, <laughs> make sure your power switch is lined up. Ooh, that was almost a disaster. Okay, so. Still turns on. That's a good sign. It doesn't turn on, then immediately off. And, uh, kill that light so you can see a little bit better. Thing's still plugged in. It does not charge. So I'm thinking I don't have a good ground connection. Oh, what the heck? There's an extra pin in there. I didn't even check that until now. All right, so no amount of wiggling is getting it. Ooh. See, that's what I was afraid of when I noticed I wasn't getting that ground reading. It should be on this pin here, number six. Goes to that via, right? Yep. It's all connected, yep. So 
So that should go to that, maybe. Should. Yep. Which should go to that. Yep. So why doesn't it go to that? I thought that was a ground. So maybe when I accidentally lifted one of these pads, whichever one I lifted, maybe I severed the system ground accidentally, or at least the ground from the port. Oh, that is so close together. That's not shorting. No. No. Okay. Well. I suppose let's just run a jumper wire and see what happens. I thought this was a ground. That's not a ground. That might be... Okay, that's ground. Yeah, these two should be connected. So something happened there. I'm just literally going to run a, uh... oh yeah, see, that's what I lifted right there. <laughs> okay. I've got an idea. I need a little bit of wire to do it. I think this is 26 gauge. Yeah. Just ran jumper wire across. Snip that, and now let's try one more test. Hopefully, that was my issue. Well, that was a issue. And I now have ground. Okay. Actually, let's test one more thing. I believe this one is positive volts. That goes down about all the way the hell over here, I think. I gotta measure it from this side. Oh wait, no, I think I can go to right there. Yep, okay, so that's connected. So you can check, check the voltage on either side of the fuse right here, the positive voltage, and then the ground should just be a system ground. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm just probably making bad contact because as you can see, depending on where I touch the, uh, the volume slider, the resistance is anywhere from 0 to 800 because you can see the, the coatings all coming off okay I think we're fine let's try it out realistically I should have this plugged into a power supply and not the USB port on my computer but fuck it still plugged in and there we go 
I was about to be disappointed, but then I remembered there's no battery. And there we go. Still boots. All is well. So yeah, definitely recommend using a... Um, actually, let's make sure I can still assemble this. Because I might have to change that. So anyway, if you're seriously at a point where you need to replace your charge port, I think doing a Type-C mod is significantly easier. You don't have to sit there and bend pins. Also, I would just like to point out that we are 35 minutes, 36 minutes into this video and I haven't had to cut once. I'm really digging my new phone so far. I mean, it was kind of nice having to take breaks, but... don't always want to take a break. Okay. I highly recommend using OEM screws wherever you can. These are not OEM screws. I think this is actually the Game Boy I pulled the screws out of for that um, refurbishing video I just did. I, or, well, I just did. I just made public. I actually did that like two and a half months ago. I just now uploaded it. This is why that one sticks out a little. It's gonna scratch my cartridges. Actually, hang on. This one is OEM, so that can go right there. That's nice and flush. And that one I might just omit. I think all still works. So front light still have volume. Yes, I have crystal clear flash to a prism cart. You saw that, right? It's for troubleshooting. Okay, holy cow! It's already 1:24 a.m. Um. Oh. Yeah. Let's make sure it still charges. There we go. I think all is well. If I had a dongle to test headphones, that would be the next step, make sure that's still working, but I quite frankly don't. I think it's fine because, uh, I don't know, it looked good. Um, but there we go. And even after all that, we can see 
the charge port is in there crooked so that's nice um, but hey I guess if your other charge port you know isn't working or you know if this separator is broken off or something then that'll do it uh, but otherwise I think that's it oh it looks like that extra pin I never even noticed that one in the middle it's in the OEM port too it's just a grounding pin but I never even noticed that so there's the four for the headphones and then the two charging pins or excuse me two and two of those are for headphones those two are for headphones and then the two on the outside are for charging according to this little diagram right here but anyway that's that uh, that definitely wasn't easy but you know it is what it is thanks for watching guys have an excellent night and uh, let me know how you like the new camera I'm I'm digging it I mean I'm, I'm using it as my personal cell phone so I'm loving it but you know from a from a YouTube perspective you know viewing footage let me know how you like it and uh, thanks for watching have a good night stop touching your face <laughs>